All right, so today we're gonna be brewing a Simcoe Pale Ale. Simcoe is one of my favorite hops. It's super piney and uh, kind of dank. Tastes really good, smells really good. It shines really nicely in a pale ale. So uh, this recipe is based on a clone of Russian River Two Hill 56 Pale Ale. Um, and it's basically got this really simple base malt profile here of a nice blend of Maris Otter and Pilsner. Um, and then some caramel 20 and then we've got a whole bunch of simcoe additions but not so much to drive the ibus up it's only 40 something ibus um we're gonna ferment with uso5 all right so my mash water is all ready i heated six gallons to 160 degrees and we're gonna start adding our malt as you know i do a brew in the bag style mash so this is actually my brew pot and as you'll see in a minute, it gets pretty janky, but it works really well. We're going to start by adding the specialty malts first. This is just the Crystal 20. And since that wasn't very much, it's not really going to clump or anything. So let's give it a little stir. And we can add our base malts. Taking a temperature reading here, and we are at 154, a little high. Okay, it's a little higher than 154, that's fine. Um, as long as I'm within plus or minus one degree, two degrees, it's going to be totally fine. All right, now you get to see my janky setup. Now let's start with the first hop addition. Here we have about half an ounce of Simcoe. We'll drop that in. into the next half edition. Thank 
Last dose of hops now goes in off oil. So basically, what we're going to do is take the hot bag partially out again, as if we were adding more hops, which we are. Okay, now what we want to do is shut the burner off and, oops, and lock the vapors in, basically, just like that. And it's going to sit there and it's going to steep for a while. Alright, so with my immersion chiller, I got it down about as far as I can get it, uh, which is on 90 degrees. Took the hot bag out, um, so what we're going to do now is leave it in the brew pot metal brew pot and uh, toss it in the fridge for a couple hours. So hopefully that way it'll get down to about 65 and I can pitch my yeast and bring it up to fermentation temperature. Um, I think most people actually advise that you put it in the fermenting vessel and then cool it down. But I just kind of want to see if it'll work in the brew pot or not. Um, it might be opening it up to a little bit more infection uh, potential than usual, but something makes me think that if I have a lid on it, it's going to be fine. So, I'm gonna go do that real quick. Because this way I can just pop the top off to check the temperature. All right, everything's cooled down, so I'm gonna grab a gravity sample, and then we're gonna transfer this to the fermenter and pitch the yeast. I'll wait for a week.
squeeze a bit on that, but we're right about on target. It's at 58. It should be fine. All right, so my camera cut out and died halfway through filling up the fermenter. Anyway, uh, basically just got about four gallons, a little less, um, in there and whipped it up with a sanitized whisk to get some oxygen in there. And then we dumped in our one packet of rehydrated Safale US05. So fermentation is uh, supposed to take a week. So once we're done with the primary fermentation, I'll move it to secondary and add in some dry hops. Um, and then about 10 days in secondary and it should be good to bottle. All right, so today we're going to be tasting my Simcoe Pale Ale. Uh, it's been in the bottle for about uh, two weeks now, and it's fully carved and ready to drink. Turned out real nice. Uh, I've entitled it Happy Spring because, well, it's finally spring, and I love pale ales, and it makes me happy just to be able to sit on my porch and enjoy the sunshine and drink a nice pale ale at the end of the day. So, here we go. So as you can see, turned out wonderfully clear, nice deep amber. So it's not quite a pale ale, but uh, wonderful aroma of Simcoe. A little sweet, so probably a little too much caramel, um, as you can tell by the color. But it is a fantastic, nice little beer. Mm. Good combination of hops and malts. Um, it's perfectly balanced, so I think this is a good beer that... Um, Someone who's not so experienced in craft beer might be uh, me able to drink and enjoy. Uh, it's very approachable, I think. So anyway, cheers, and uh, here's the spring. <laughs>